Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, this is Tyrone Jones with the Construction Entrepreneur School of Services. Going to be going over the Contractor State License Board Examination Study Guide for Insulation and Acoustical, which is a C C2 classification. If you have any other questions, any uh, concerns, make sure you give our office a call. Okay, um, we're available. Um, almost 24 hours a day, but you can always text us as well if it's after hours from wherever you're at. And um, send us a question if you have any questions or concerns. We'd love to hear from you. All right, the installation and acoustical C2 examination is divided into four major sections. Uh, first planning, uh, first section is planning and estimation at 25%. It's going to cover three sections, interpreting plans and specifications, planning and estimating. Next section is acoustical at 30%. That's going to cover two sections of ceiling grid, acoustical tile and wall panels. Next section is going to deal with insulation at 30%. And that's going to cover three areas as well. That's site preparation and blow-in applications, installation preparation, bat, rigid board, and radiant barrier applications. Last one is safety at 15%. That's going to cover two areas. That's personnel safety and job site safety. All right, the text policy. Uh, it's a closed book examination. No reference materials may be used during the examination. All materials brought to the examination site must be left in an unmonitored area at your own risk. Uh, each time I have taken a test, I have always brought my cell phone and you have to leave it on this bookshelf or this table somewhere. And I've been to uh, two different test sites. Usually you can see your cell phone from wherever you're sitting at. Um, unless you're literally out of sight of that, but rarely is someone um, going to steal your cell phone. Usually there's a, a staff attendant close by monitoring people walking around. So, um, you know, I would say, you know, leave your cell phone in the car if you can or bring it up and then um, uh, leave it on the shelf. They will make you shed it off. So you can't just say, hey, you know, uh, if I get an emergency call, and you know, I would like to keep my cell phone. No, 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 no. That's not going to work. All right, test strategy. It's a multiple choice examination with four choices per question. Examination questions are written to provide only one best answer. Some questions require uh, their mathematical. Uh, they will also provide you with a calculator, and there's no penalty for guessing. If you are unsure about a particular question, it is better to try to answer the question than to leave the question blank. You'll be given plenty of time um, to uh, answer all the examination questions, so be sure to read each question and its four choices completely and carefully before selecting the best possible answer to the question. Now, they also give you an option to select a question that you want to set aside, that you want to come back to later, okay? And my tip on this is do not spend a lot of time on one question. It's a time test, okay? And, and you're gonna be taking, if, you're, if it's your first time, then you're gonna be taking a law and a business test and they give you time for each of those tests. Those tests. So you want to spend a little bit of time on the question. If, you don't, if you're unsure of it, set it to the side. Don't worry about how many you're setting to the side. You know, you can set 50 to the side, it doesn't matter. But once you get through the entire test, then you can go back to those questions and answer them. And sometimes, as you know, with taking tests, sometimes questions, other questions will answer other questions. Okay? So remember that. All right, let's start with some sample questions that you're going to see on this test. 
Okay, what is the best tool to use to locate wood framing in a wall system for retrofit installation jobs? Now, I'm going to go through these questions and then I'm going to give you the answer. So if you want to pause the video so you can actually think about the answer, then go ahead and pause it after I read the question. So what is the best tool to use to locate wood framing in a wall system for retrofit installation jobs? A, plumb bomb, B, stud finder, C, tape measure, D, rubber hammer. Answer is B, stud finder. Next question. What length of ceiling wire should be installed for a 10 foot suspended ceiling if the roof deck is at 20 feet? Once again, what length of ceiling wire should be installed for a 10 foot suspended ceiling if the roof deck is at 20 feet? A, 20 feet, B, 16 feet, C, 12 feet, D, 10 feet. Answer this is C, 12 feet. Next question, be the last question for this review here. A contractor is bidding on a job for a 30 foot high, 60 foot wide, 100 foot long metal building. It will be insulated with rigid board in both the ceiling and walls at a cost of $1.10 per square foot. How much should be budgeted for installation costs, assuming 5% waste? A contractor is bidding on a job for a 30 foot high, 60 by 100 foot metal building. It would be insulated with rigid board in both the ceiling and walls at a cost of $1.10 per square foot how much should be budgeted for installation costs, assuming 5% waste? A, 11,088, B, 13,860, C, 17,160, or D, 18,018? Your answer is D, 18,018. Now, uh, the board also provides information on books, cold books that can help you uh, pass this examination, okay? Um, usually in the school that you would go to will give you their resource materials, which will not cover everything that the board is actually saying that they pull from, okay, to create these examinations. A lot of times for each trade, you're dealing with seven to nine different tests for each classification. So a lot of times, each school may not have or may not provide you with, with all the resources you need to be able to cover every question that you may run into on these seven to nine different tests. So you may, you may need to pull from these different sources here to, make to ensure that you pass this test at 100%. All right. So look these, uh, these books over here. Also, this information is on the state. Uh, contractors license board so you can always look this up okay that'll be the end of this examination for c2 hope you enjoyed it make sure you check out our other videos on our youtube channel make sure you subscribe like and share this video don't forget to subscribe see you on the next one my construction entrepreneurs